when Ramona was 13 months old, I had to go back to work. My maternity leave was up and I remembered that I did used to love my job and I'd probably like it again. But deep down inside, I felt properly gutted that I wasn't going to be able to stay at home any longer with my baby Ramona. I had such a clenched stomach going to work that day, riding my bike on my commute. I genuinely felt that I was letting myself down, that my principles as an attachment parent were going to the wayside as I took on my career again. I truly felt that. Fortunately, as soon as I got to work and I got back with all my old colleagues and got straight back into my workload, I began to remember how much I loved my job. Unfortunately, my husband Tim had been able to reduce his hours, so while I was at work, Ramona was getting looked after by her daddy, and he would bring her in to me every single day that I was at work so that I could breastfeed her over lunchtime, and somehow that made us all feel a little bit better about the whole thing. And when Gina was born, I went back to work when she was about two weeks old, but fortunately by then I was kind of doing freelance writing and that sort of thing. Right now Tim's looking after both the girls and I'm technically working, but clearly I'm drinking tea and making YouTube videos. <laughs> and then on the other hand you can see that working from home comes with some pretty low standards. Like right now I couldn't even be bothered to find two socks. I've got one sock and my husband's slipper on the other. Imagine if all these things could happen. One, there was no stigma for mothers choosing to go back to work because we all understood that some women really, really need the fulfilment of a workplace and a career. Two, there's no stigma for mothers who choose to stay at home because everybody can recognise that the most important job in the world is being with children during their early years because the hand that rocks the cradle rules the world. Imagine if there was equal pay between genders so that it was actually a viable decision for mothers to return to go to work and leave fathers looking after the kid. Imagine if there was better workplace policies so that fathers could drop down their hours and help look after the children so that both mother and father could go to work and the child could still be looked after by a parent. What if everybody saw how important secure attachments were for young children and if everybody understood that responsive, engaged childcare was imperative at those younger years? If we all understood that, we'd have nannies and childcare centres and early childhood centres that were all able to incorporate those things into their childcare. It's 2016. I fully believe that all of these things should be possible because without them, for some people, there's not really very much choice in choosing to stay at home or go to work. It's such a complicated thing, but surely we're bright enough to really provide some options for parents out there. The bit that I can control is whether I'm going to judge people for going to work or staying at home. I, for one, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to trust that every mother out there is trying to do the very best thing for her family. Are you with me?